at six. He kept the community of Newtown foremost in his thoughts throughout his life, second only to his devoted and loving family, friends, and colleagues. A beloved volunteer fire chief killed while crossing the road. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Zinni. And hi everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. This happened last night in the Sandy Hook section of Newtown. Pinpoint News Tracker taking us to the scene. Churchill Road right near the intersection of Dayton Street. It is in front of the Newtown United Methodist Church. And while police investigate the tragic accident tonight, we're hearing from those who knew him well. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live right now in Newtown with what he's learning tonight. Matt. Uh, hi there, Mark and Aaron. Well, we're here on Main Street in the center of Newtown. You can see the fire trucks that are still out here. They were here for this procession that came through as they escorted the body of the first assistant fire chief, Peter Blumberg, from the medical examiner's office in Farmington to the funeral home here on Main Street. You can see them as they are starting to pull out now. But earlier today, we were at the firehouse where many were not only remembering this dedicated volunteer firefighter, but also the impact he had on this community. Pete was a great storyteller. But it's with a heavy heart that Bill McAllister is now the one telling stories about his friend, Peter Blumberg. He never said no when there was a call for help, whether it came in the line of duty or from someone he learned who just needed a helping hand. McAllister recalling the dedication of Blumberg, who volunteered here in Newtown for 50 years and followed him in his role as Botsford Fire Rescue's first assistant chief. Even up to a few hours before his death, Pete had responded to two fire calls including one in Sandy Hook. Sadly, Blomberg was killed Monday night, leaving behind four daughters, a cherished grandson, and countless friends and colleagues. We're told the 72-year-old was crossing Churchill Road to attend the Newtown Board of Fire Commissioners' annual dinner meeting when he was hit by a pickup truck. It's tough. I mean, we have five uh, fire companies in town. They're all volunteer, uh, and they really do a lot for our town. And uh, to lose one like this is really a tragedy. As police investigate, plenty in town are paying their respects. Fresh flowers cover the windshield of Blomberg's chief's car as Bunting drapes the firehouse. Inside, an equally touching tribute. His chief's helmet and radio hang in front of his locker, along with an American flag. Out front, his boots. It means a lot for us to be able to come help out the community in such a tragic time. Hans Relick stopped by dropping off flowers from his family's nursery to make a memorial. Hunt says his father is a volunteer firefighter, so this hits home. Understanding someone in the fire department and seeing my father go through it, it's, it's hard for me to see. And, you know, you pray for these people because they're really going out there to save our lives. And you can see the ladder truck right there that had the American flag out as uh, the procession came this way. We're told the fire company is helping the family with those funeral arrangements. And as soon as we know of them, of course, we'll bring them straight to you. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Newtown. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.